Alrighty, here's question four from the 2015 exam, and it wants us to answer the following questions about the solubility of calcium hydroxide. Yay, we did a little lab involving calcium hydroxide and its solubility, so that's good. KSP value given to us is 1.3 times 10 to the negative 6, so slightly soluble. Not super duper insoluble, but again, not totally soluble. Write a balanced chemical equation for the dissolution of calcium hydroxide solid in pure water. And so, since it included the solid next to the calcium hydroxide, I'm going to include the state symbols, just to be safe. Calcium hydroxide solid, you just got to make sure you break it into the calcium plus 2 ion and 2 of my hydroxide ions. Parentheses aren't necessary, but at least make sure that you show 2 hydroxide ions. Calculate the molar solubility of calcium hydroxide in 0.1 molar calcium nitrate. And so my KSP value is going to be equal to the concentration of calcium times the concentration of hydroxide squared. So that's my KSP expression. And that comes from the balanced equation 2 hydroxide, so it's squared. So calcium the concentration of calcium is uh, given to us right here 0.1 molar calcium nitrate so I'm gonna plug that in for the calcium concentration I'm gonna plug in the KSP value and now remember with my hydroxide that is 2x again because of the 2 not only does the 2 give us the exponent in brackets here it's also representing 2x and so now I just plug and chug, and I've got my KSP P is equal to 0.4x squared, because that would be 2 squared is 4, 4 times 0.1 is 0.4, 0.4x squared, divide by 0.4, take the square root, yay, and I get 0 0.0018 molar. And again, it said molar solubility, that's what's in the brackets, molarity. Um, I only I had 0 0.10 molar and I had my KSP of 1.3 times 10 to the negative 6, so I'm only given two sig figs. You could also answer 1.8 times 10 to the negative 3, but either way, that is the molar solubility of the calcium hydroxide in the calcium nitrate solution. If they had not given us the 0.1 molar calcium nitrate for this number, it would have been one of our, this would have been x, and this is 2x squared, so the KSP would be equal to 4x cubed. If you remember those problems, I would have had to divide by 4 and take the cube root, and that would be the regular molar solubility of the calcium hydroxide. However, since they gave us the 0.1 molar calcium nitrate, that's how we got this answer. Okay. And then the last part here, in the box below, complete a particle representation diagram that includes four water molecules with proper orientation around the calcium plus two ion. And it shows us, represent the water molecules as that, our Mickey Mouses. What you got to remember is that our water molecules, the ears of Mickey Mouse, are the hydrogens, that's positive. The chin of Mickey Mouse is the oxygen, that's negative. So with the calcium ion being positive, we need to orient, blah, orientate the water molecules around it with the negative oxygens facing it. So that all in all wasn't a horrible question. At least writing of the balanced chemical equation should have been easy. Drawing the water molecules should have been easy. This was pretty easy too. You just had to, you know, since it's calcium nitrate, that's why I plugged in the 0.1 for the calcium concentration, and I had to use 2x for my hydroxide. Again, if there had not been calcium nitrate, if they had just said, you know, calculate the molar solubility of calcium hydroxide, then I would have called this x. That would have been 2x, so this would have ended up being 4x cubed. Sorry, I'm trying to draw with my fingers. Oh, that's horrible. 4x cubed. And then I would have solved for x, and that would have just been my regular molar solubility. 
Alright, hope this helps. See you soon.